it's October 1st, which means it's officially spooky season. <laughs> and we're going to bring you a month of horrors here at After Midnight. I'm talking ghosts, schools, and creepy tech billionaires. <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg is making headlines this week after he said the next big thing to replace our phones will be artificial reality glasses. <laughs> now, I think most glasses are cute, but not these ones. <laughs> these glasses are not cool. They're less Blade Runner and more Tina Belcher. <laughs> when worn, these AR glasses will make you see the world like this. Multitasking. This person is on a phone call while also texting, while also watching videos. <laughs> Meta is completely transforming how we ignore people. <laughs> but a lot of people online didn't care so much about the glasses and instead were focused on how Zuckerberg was dressed. <laughs> yeah, I guess it makes sense that he's debuting this look in October. He's in costume as a boy. <laughs> he looks like your cousin who just got divorced and started DJing. <laughs> the only times I've seen a rebrand this intense is when a pop star has a new album coming out. And even Lady Gaga would look at this and be like, um, it's a little over the top. <laughs> shouldn't be allowed to dress like this. You have two choices, either full suit and tie or Batman. <laughs> dress nice or go clean up Gotham. <laughs> Zuckerberg isn't the first tech billionaire to attempt a glow up. Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos have both done it. Oh. Yeah. Yep, I guess it goes to show a billion dollars isn't cool. You know what is cool? <laughs> Obvious cosmetic procedures. <laughs> Speaking of false advertising, people in Australia are outraged after discovering a pop-up for the American bakery Crumble Cookies was not an official pop-up at all. In fact, it was just run by fans. There's feelings of deceit, betrayal, anger in the cookie community. Crumble Cookies are a cult US bakery that did a pop-up in Sydney and the hype around it, it was pretty nuts. But then it's come out that this pop-up wasn't actually affiliated with the official Crumble Cookies. Crumble Cookie had nothing to do with it and it was actually just people who had gone to America and brought back these cookies to sell. Flew back to Australia to sell them for $17.50 per cookie. $17.50 for a cookie? I don't even spend that much on bras. And yes, I'm uncomfortable all the time. <laughs> People in charge of this pop-up flew to the US to buy the cookies, then took them back to Australia to sell them. This sounds like the premise for a 90s screwball comedy. <laughs> if we can bring back enough cookies, our spring break vacation completely pays for itself. <laughs> posted their taste tests of the cookies, and let's just say they were bad. We went to the Crumble Cookie Pop-Up in Bondi, and I got 10. It's still a little warm. Mm. It's biscuit. <laughs> I'm underwhelmed. How I'm really underwhelmed. Yeah. yeah, no <laughs> they were underwhelming. You want cookies fresh out of the oven, not the overhead storage bin. <laughs> I don't think a 15-hour flight softens a cookie. That's why they serve biscotti up there. In a statement, the pop-up said, we apologize that they don't live up to expectations. However, they are just cookies at the end of the day. <laughs> So toxic boyfriend. I apologize that our two year anniversary date wasn't up to your standards. However, it's just dinner at the end of the day. Can we still have sex? And since we're all thinking it, yeah, the toxic boyfriend looks like this.